Hello, uh, I'm going to talk today a bit deeper on the equation set in Hegras. We already talked in a video of uh, theory 2D in Hegras, but today I want to go a bit deeper. So we know that in, in, in Hegras we have uh, different equation sets that we can uh, see here. There are diffusion waves, shallow water equation, original faster, the stricter momentum, and local inertia. So I, I would always recommend to run our first model with diffusion wave, so we know where the flow is going, if we are using the, the right cell size, if everything is like, like the first run, just to know what is going on. And then we move on to shallow water equations, because they usually capture more what we need. A stricter momentum, I have only used it for uh, dam bridge, and local inertia, I actually never used it. But we are going to focus on the difference in these two, when it is important to go from diffusion wave to shallow water equation. And um, just uh, to repeat concept, yeah. So uh, the diffusion wave approximation, what does is the, um, ignores the velocity terms. So the equations are a lot more simple, therefore are faster and also more stable. And the equation and the uh, calculation are based on the gravity forces and the slope. But this is not always accurate enough. So in all these cases, it will be very important to go from the diffusion wave to the shallow water equation. So when we have highly dynamic float waves, so like a flood is coming or something like that, abrupt contractions and expansion, if we have a channel that contracts and expands, because if we depreciate the acceleration also, the velocity uh, um, will not capture it as uh, well. If we have a very flat slope uh, river, because then the gravity forces are not um, the main forces, uh, the velocity will be also important. If we have a tidally influenced condition, the same, the tide are going up and down. If we have general wave propagation modeling, if we are opening and closing gates or other structures, mm, super elevation around vents, if we have a river in a vent and then we're going to capture the elevation in the vent, then it's important as well. Detailed velocities, of course, uh, or mixed flow regime. And I've been playing, uh, I've done a model, um, just to look, I've done a channel here and put a structure here to see how the different um, equations uh, behave around this uh, column that I invented. So, yeah, we can see here differences. So in this um, shallow water equation, we can see this, this bend. And I, I will show you better here so we can compare them all at the same time. But yes, in the top left, we will have the diffusion wave. The top right is shallow water equation, original faster, the one that I use the most. Shallow water equation, the stricter momentum, and the, and the local inertia. And we can see those trees do capture these AD uh, edges uh, that are being formed behind the structure, while this one, not as much. Uh, yeah, just, uh, I think it's uh, interesting to see how uh, visually, we can see the differences in between them. And also, um, I, I like to share that when I run this model, it was very use easy to run these two. But when I tried to run these ones, the model would crash. And at the beginning, I thought that the, the mesh was too small, because of course I was using a one meter uh, mesh, so I could capture these singularities. But it was actually how I overcame this uh, issue was giving an uh, initial condition time to both of them so the model will have some time to warm up and then become stable yes uh, that's it i hope you like it and if you have any questions yes let me know bye bye